upon further review of Cincinnati, would it be tape review? Well, I think, <clears throat> you know, through uh, probably three minutes left in the third quarter when we took our starters out, we gave up less than four yards per play and 13 points at that point, um, which is pretty good. Had, had uh, you know, had takeaways, had multiple opportunities to get takeaways. I'm disappointed that we didn't get some of them, but obviously we had a chance probably about six or seven interceptions, which means we're in the right position, uh, you know, to make those plays. So very positive in that regard. Obviously, we wished when we put our second group in and some of the thirds that we closed it out better. Um, so, and that was an opportunity for us to, to get our team deeper and get our team healthy. Having played seven straight games, a lot of night games and that kind of thing, we wanted to try to get those guys in. We thought they'd be able to go in there and execute a little better than they did. So, uh, it was a good teaching opportunity for the second group of guys and learn that, you know, the type of standard they have to play at when, uh, you know, when we do take the starters out. When you saw Virginia Tech this past Thursday night, they were without three running backs, but overall, what did you see from them? Yeah, I think, I think you really have to throw this one out because, again, you, you mentioned they were without three running backs. Think about it, we were out without three running backs, right? I mean, if you just think in terms of that. So um, I know that was real hard on them. I know they'll have guys back. Um, I know they'll be ready for, you know, for us. And, uh, you know, I think uh, you know, they got a talented team. They're very competitive. They got a good all line. They got good skill, good skill players. They got a quarterback who uh, was one big game. So uh, they'll be at home. They'll be ready for us. Mark, do you get a real sense that everybody's kind of recharged? You're just, just getting a couple extra days to... I think so. I think so. That's part of the plan. I mean, I don't think I don't think you can do. I don't think you can have the schedule that we had. You know, to play seven straight weeks, night, you know, all those night games that were away, and get back five five thirty in the morning, um, and then just keep doing it for seven straight weeks without having a plan, you know, to recharge. And I think I think the, the guys have, have gotten that. You know, at the same time, uh, we've been able to you know, move ahead uh, on this game and get ahead a little bit, which has been good. Well, Personnel-wise, up, up front, defensive line. Um, Depth and talent-wise, can you sort of break that down a little bit? I mean, is it where it needs to be? Is there, you know, you need a couple more studs in the next couple of passes? No, I think or? I think we're really moving in the right direction. I think I think our young guys are are improving. I mean, we're playing a lot of young guys. We're playing uh, right now. Trent Harris has been playing a lot for us this year. Uh, Chad Thomas has played a whole lot in the last two games. Um, Anthony Moten has been has been playing. Cortell Jenkins has been playing. Um, you know, Calvin's a, a, a junior college player, but he's a first-year player. Michael Weish has been playing the last couple of games for us. He's a first-year player. So I think we went out and got all those guys. So we would have. You know, we would have the depth that we had, and I think they're all improving and getting better. So, um, I just mentioned six guys that were first-year players that have been, you know, been playing a big role in the end, and giving us depth, and I think those guys are improving each week. Was well, that also an issue?